number one pound for pound. He'll try to make a statement here. Emmanuel Stewart, if I were David Diaz, I would enter round one looking to ask Manny Pacquiao one significant question. Did you train to take body punches? Are you ready to get hit in the gut? Well, I think that's what he should do, too. But you know, looking at Manny, to me, I'm just amazed that this guy's fighting that for his fourth different weight division championship. And look at his body. I mean, usually when a smaller guy moves up to the division, you see a lot of fat or something like Duran. He looks perfect. Looked like he was born to be a lightweight. A spectacular athlete from beginning to this point of his career. Never once has he looked out of place in any weight class in which he's fought. The body just keeps getting better and better. And already Diaz begins to hit him in the body with the punches that are aimed at asking how well Pacquiao has trained. And already Pacquiao shows the speed advantage that makes him so special. But I look like Pacquiao sees the tight defense of Diaz. He was covering up and on the top, but he's trying to find a way to come up between the uh, gloves. But took the signal with his left uppercut. <laughs> See, he's just trying to right tackle. He's very smart. He realizes it's not going to be that easy him to the head on top at the beginning. David Diaz is a fast lightweight, but he's a strong lightweight. He's not easy to put away in a cold breeze, and Pacquiao can't expect for anything to happen quickly here. Pacquiao's is boxing tonight. Terrific combinations by Pacquiao. Many of the punches being blocked, however, by Diaz's gloves. Yeah, but Pacquiao's boxing, using his footwork, his movement, a lot different than I've ever saw him fight before. For the first time, he's got somebody that probably that he's faster than. And you hear the adoration of the crowd. In reference to what he knew the crowd would be, Diaz said, in our Mexican heritage, we have a statement, pocos pero locas. In other words, we may be smaller, but we're crazy enough to make our presence felt. Uppercut by Pacquiao, mixing his punches brilliantly. Catches Diaz with a left hand. Diaz blocking ardently with his gloves, but on the defensive before he finally breaks out with another attempted body shot. Diaz is doing a pretty good job defensive, but he can't do too much offensive simply because he's not fast enough yet. Until Pacquiao slows down, it's going to be hard for him to do anything offensive. And a smile and a nod from David Diaz to Pacquiao as if to say, yeah, I get it. I understand why you're so great. Good boy. Okay. Deep breath. Okay, Manny, don't let him rough you up on the inside, okay? I want you to use your feet and get out of there. All right, you let Stiff, straight jab. Right. You gotta jab your way in, that's a stiff jab, not a flinging jab, right. all right? And then you're ready to work. Okay. That's the most important thing to look at right now. Just relax. Just relax. I'm ready. Listen, relax. Hey. Stiff jab, relax. relax. Diaz's trainer, Jimmy Strickland, is one of the true veteran cornermen of the sport. A cut man, a chief second, a guy who will carry the spit bucket. Strickland has said, if David could beat Manny Pacquiao, I might retire. Diaz says, no way, I'm not going to let him. And you heard Freddie Roach very pleased with the way his fighter fought round one. Copy box numbers, Pacquiao 19 out of 91, Diaz only 9 out of 43. Again, the uppercut with a left hand from Pacquiao. Again, a body shot from Diaz. Momentarily drives Manny back. Hand speed advantage tremendously in Pacquiao's favor. Yeah, Pacquiao's doing a beautiful job of boxing. He's putting his combinations together, getting in and out. Diaz caught Pacquiao right between punches. 
lands the left hand on the chin again. This one a more glancing blow. Pacquiao with a big left hand lead over the top. And another uppercut. But he has not been landing those punches are not landing. Diaz is catching the punches for the most part. Doing a good job with his tight guard, David Diaz. All those punches are blocked. And those. And there he is. David is willing to weather the storm, looking for his few chances here and there. Yeah, that guy's throwing a lot of punches, but I haven't saw that much land, you know, and, and I don't know if he's going to keep up this pace, because normally he moves around, as I said, rests, and then explodes. But he's consistently boxing this fight, which is good. But I don't know if he can keep that up all throughout the whole fight. Pacquiao trying to thrash Diaz with speed. Catches him with a right and a left there. Crowd looking for him to land something big. And Diaz didn't manage to block the right hand. Big left over the top by Pacquiao. Big left over the top by Diaz. Blood coming from the right eye of David Diaz. Already, Pacquiao has brought blood from Diaz. 40 seconds still to go in a wildly active round two. right hook. Jim Strickland, the manager of Diaz, normally works in most fights as a cut man. So he'll get a chance to practice on his own fight at the end of this round. Is he a good one, Emmanuel? He's a good cut man. One of the best in the business. So Strickland will go to work on Diaz. The cut is right on the bridge of his nose. Why are you jabbing? I don't know. Jimmy's cut up here, Jim. And the head, it's up here. I'm not going to worry about that. There's a little bit of hair on his nose. Hey, I'm not going to crouch. Don't take them shit. All right. All right, let me hit that. I'm going to cut on the nose through the punch. All right, let me hit Listen, the biggest problem is you're not throwing a nice power jab. And as a result, he's landing his big left hand over the top, right? Now, you've, you've got to step in behind a good, stiff power jab. Right. And once you're in, you can't stand up straight or back out. Okay. You've got to keep your head in his chest. All right. And you're weak. Here we see Pacquiao through something that's very unusual, beautiful combination. Right uppercut being followed by left, up, right uppercut up between the gloves. That may cut or possibly cause the cut on the nose. Well, the 